There is a global race to the moon right now, no longer limited to Russia and the USA as we are used to. Many countries, including India, Japan, and China, are actively participating. The most recent milestone was achieved by China's Chang'e 6 mission, which made history by successfully collecting samples from the far side of the moon. So, why is this mission so important? And what does it mean for the future of space exploration? In this video, we'll delve into the mission's objectives, explore its technological advancements, and compare it with other successful moon missions. So without further ado, let's get started. The primary goal of the Chang-6 mission was to collect samples from the moon's far side, specifically from the South Pole Aitken Basin. This region is of immense scientific interest because it is one of the largest and oldest impact craters in the solar system, and it might hold clues about the moon's history and the solar system's evolution. Using its advanced drilling equipment and robotic arm, the Chang-6 lander successfully collected approximately two kilograms of lunar rocks and soil. This is the first time samples have been collected from the moon's far side, making it a groundbreaking achievement. But what makes this mission even more remarkable is the technological sophistication involved. After collecting the samples, the mission's ascent module lifted off from the moon's surface and successfully docked with the orbital module in lunar orbit. This complex maneuver required precise coordination and advanced docking technology. The samples were then transferred to the re-entry capsule attached to the orbital module, which will bring them back to Earth. The mission is not over yet, though. The true measure of success will come when the samples return safely to Earth, expected around June 25, 2024. This return will mark the completion of the mission and provide scientists with invaluable material to study the Moon's composition and history. The Chang-6 mission is part of China's broader lunar exploration program, which aims to establish a robust presence on the Moon. This program includes future missions like Chang'e 7, which will further explore the Moon's South Pole, and a crewed lunar landing planned for the 2030S. The docking of the ascent module with the orbital module, completed on June 6, 2024, was critical for transferring the collected samples for their journey back to Earth. This docking presents significant challenges. The Chang-6 team had to ensure precise navigation and timing to avoid collisions and secure the samples safely. Another key innovation of this mission is the use of a lunar mineral spectrometer, a negative ion analyzer, a radon detector, and a lunar structure detector. These instruments have collected a wealth of scientific data, which will help scientists understand the Moon's geological history and composition. Additionally, the mission included an Italian-built retro-reflector, which serves as a position control point for distance measurement. This helped achieve more accurate mapping and navigation on the Moon's surface. Moreover, this mission carried a new composite material flag that was unfurled on the far side of the Moon. This is not just a symbolic gesture, but also a demonstration of China's ability to develop and deploy advanced materials in the harsh environment of space. This mission is a significant step forward in lunar exploration, and it's also part of a broader global effort to explore the Moon. So, let's compare this mission with other recent lunar missions and see how they stack up in terms of technology and objectives. India's Chandrayaan-3 mission, launched last year, successfully landed on the Moon and conducted various scientific experiments. However, unlike Chang'e 6, it did not aim to return samples to Earth. Instead, it focused on surface exploration and deploying a rover to study the lunar terrain. However, this mission provided valuable data on the Moon's surface composition and helped advance India's space exploration capabilities. Another mission was Japan's SLIM mission, also known as the Smart Lander for Investigating Moon, which aimed to demonstrate precise landing technologies. Unfortunately, the SLIM mission did not succeed and failed to achieve its planned objectives. The lander encountered technical difficulties that prevented it from making a soft landing on the lunar surface. Despite this setback, the mission provided valuable lessons and data that will inform future lunar missions. Japan's collaboration with private companies like Intuitive Machine's Odysseus mission, 
also highlights the growing role of commercial entities in lunar exploration, emphasizing the importance of public-private partnerships in advancing space technology. Intuitive Machines IM-1 mission, also known as the Odysseus mission, marked a significant milestone as the first private moon landing mission. Launched in 2023, it aimed to deliver payloads to the lunar surface, conduct scientific experiments, and test new technologies. However, the Odysseus spacecraft, known as ODI, experienced a problematic landing near the lunar south pole, failing to achieve a fully successful touchdown. Operating on the lunar surface for seven Earth days, ODI's mission was ultimately limited by the extreme cold of the lunar night, and it did not wake up afterward. Despite the issues, the mission provided valuable data and paved the way for future lunar exploration, including the upcoming IM-2 mission, which will continue to advance our understanding of the moon and support NASA's Artemis program. Compared to these missions, Chang'e 6 stands out for its objective of collecting and returning samples from the moon's far side. The safe return of these samples will provide scientists with unprecedented insights into the moon's composition and history, potentially answering long-standing questions about the early solar system. The competition among countries in lunar exploration is fierce, and each mission contributes to our collective knowledge and technological prowess. The Chang-6 mission's success will undoubtedly inspire further missions and collaborations, pushing the boundaries of what we can achieve in space exploration. In conclusion, China's ambitious lunar program, along with missions from India, Japan, and private companies, will drive innovation and expand our understanding of the moon. The discoveries made through these missions will not only deepen our knowledge of our celestial neighbor, but also lay the foundation for sustainable human presence and exploration beyond Earth. Thank you for watching and joining us on this exciting journey through space exploration. Stay tuned for more updates and discoveries as we continue to explore the final frontier.